guys, welcome back. It's been about five months or so since I've last uploaded a YouTube video. And as you can probably hear in this video already, there's a little bit of an echo. And that's because I'm doing this in a little bit of a different location than I normally do. Normally I would do it, do uh, like unboxings and that sort of thing in my garage. But in this case, um, we, hit, we have an open room in our house, and I decided why not make use of that space, make this store sort of like a studio. I know it sounds kind of empty right now, and that's because it is, but hopefully we can get some stuff in here to uh, knock down that noise level a bit, and uh, of course get right into the unboxing. So right here, we have a nice set of BC Racing coilovers. This is for the Subaru Outback that I have. And we also have this very nice shock creep, which will be very convenient for in the future, getting underneath my vehicle and possibly doing some work under there. So, you know, it comes in handy when you have it on hand. So, yep, um, I do have my unboxing knife right here, just set it aside, and of course we can get right into our boxes. Now of course my camera is set up on the one on one of the only things inside this room and that is an old shelf that I have and it's actually really convenient because it's like a perfect size so you guys can see me and uh, and uh, I can do the unboxing with no issues and of course the little bit of echo might be annoying for me personally but it might actually work better for you guys because, well, you can hear me a little bit better than, uh, let's say, in the garage where after recording a video and re-watching it, it's like, what is he saying? It's kind of hard to hear him. I really do need to speak up in these videos. It's one of those things that it's like kind of hard to do. You gotta get used to speaking a little bit louder so that the camera, or in this case my phone, ends up picking it up. And uh, of course, it makes a little bit of a better video for all of you guys. So, for, my cons for your consideration, of course, I will try doing that. I'll try speaking up a little bit more, you know. Uh, making sure everything sounds good or just doing my recordings inside the echoey room that doesn't doesn't force me to speak louder because the echo does all the work for me now of course I work at advanced auto parts so I was able to get this um fairly cheap. I'm not going to actually say the price because technically what, I'm, what I do is not really uh, supposed to happen, but I received this item for five cents. So you can say that I received it for pretty much free. And I think this is upside down. Side up the first time. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's actually a very nice object we got here. Looks 
So we have ourselves. Uh, let's let's do this so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So we have the actual shot creep part itself. So this was where somebody would lay, likely me, because I would be underneath whatever vehicle. And these are the casters. There's a few little holes here. And I will need to install these in the future. I'm not going to do that right now because, well, even though I have all the time in the world, I'm not going to waste yours putting a few wheels on a shop creek. That is probably why you, probably not the reason why you guys would want to come to my channel. But we'll set that aside and take care of that part later. And we can move on to the part everybody has been waiting for. Well, at least I have. I waited um, like a month and a half for this to arrive. It's been a while since I've gotten it, seeing as I haven't uploaded in five months. Um, like I said, I did receive this a while back. I think it was like three months ago I got this. And uh, basically it's just been sitting since then. I was waiting to do a YouTube video, but it just kept... Uh, kept procrastinating, as I always do. Come on. A little tiny bit of plastic. That has all my address stuff on there, so it's fine off to the side. And we can actually get this off. It's a real struggle. It's a real struggle. It just doesn't want to come off. side. Um, I don't see any arrows designating which side is the top, but I won't be able to lift this up, but right here on the front, uh, fortunately my information isn't here, but right on the front here, it does say Subaru Outback 0, uh, 2000 to 2004 uh, BC part number F22. So, in case any of you guys want to get uh, coilovers from uh, BC Racing, then uh, there is the information for you. Uh, I know I'm saying uh, a lot. Again, I will reiterate, I have not made a video in five months. And so, if I'm a little rusty, that's probably why. We'll just open right up. Now, as for the installation of these coilovers, I will definitely make a video on them. Um, of course, installing them and whatnot. I do have a buddy or a friend who works on Subarus quite a bit. And Yeah. 
as I was saying, I do have a friend that uh, works on Subarus quite a bit. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him if he can help me install them because I've never done coilovers before. So the way it's going to work is he is going to help me out. He will help me uh, install them. And then, of course, I'll be recording and whatnot while he helps me. And we can uh, work from there. Um, yep. So yeah, uh, we got we have the coilovers here. Um, These things are freaking cool. They're kind of heavy. Of course, I've never held up a coilover before, but oh yeah. And again, so that you guys can see, uh, there is a little part part number and whatnot on there. But yep, these are the high performance shock absorber VC racing coilovers. These things are pretty epic. This is the front one. Um, I believe we have the rear ones in here as well. I can show you one of those. sure what all of this stuff is for so I'm not going to try to mix anything up here I'm just gonna take it out of the box show you guys and then I will put it back for when we actually go to install them and this is the rear coil over of course it has the little the dial on top to determine stiffness or softness, depending on how you like your setup. We will have to determine that when we go to install them. But yeah, that is about it. Um, don't think there's much else for the video. Uh, is there anything else in the box? I don't think there is. Nope, it's just the coilovers. So that is it for the video. Um, let's get. Let's get this in here. It's probably not in full view. To be totally honest, I'm not even entirely sure like where the cutoff is for the video. So I can probably push this back to get it all in one shot. These are things that I probably should have thought about before starting the video. But yep, there we are. We have the the front and rear, eh. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> so we have our front and rear coilovers, and then we have our shop creep missing the wheels. We'll take care of that at a later date. And we have the installation of these, which will also take place at a later date. And I'll let you guys know when that happens. Of course, there'll be an upload. And you guys will all see that, and it'll be pretty cool. So, I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.